Hey, what's up? It's me. Uh, today we got an interesting video. This is my 3D printer. So I just built it a little while ago. I've been printing off all kinds of cool stuff. But um, yeah, here it is. I found online a 3D printed CSGO butterfly knife. So I'm going to print it off. I'm going to do some flipping, a little bit of a review. It should be pretty fun. Um, here we go. I'm going to start this thing up. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is just a time lapse real quick of the printer going. Basically the way it works is it's a little tiny nozzle that shoots out hot plastic in a particular pattern. Uh, it's pretty cool. Been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I think this print took around two hours and it maybe cost me 10 cents of plastic, I think. So that's cool. Alrighty, so the print is done. Here it is, looking good. I'm gonna uh, take this off and I will be right back. So as I just said, it looks pretty good. This printout turned out all right. I'm still calibrating the printer, so there's lots of different calibrations and stuff I have to do, but. So the main issues with it, you can see here I'm using a little knife. The, there was a little bit of gunk and stuff around the holes, so the screws didn't go in real nice, and the holes were actually just too small in general. So I don't know if that's an issue with the printer or the print itself, but uh, I'm just drilling them out here. So yeah, I was pretty surprised about how short this knife was. I guess I'm just used to a full-size knife. And whoever designed this probably never actually ever flipped anything, I'm assuming, because it is real short. Uh, I'm gonna show, later on in the video, I'll show like a comparison, but yeah. So the, the screws, they just thread right into the plastic, which is cool. Not gonna last forever, but I don't think this thing's really built to last forever. It's kind of a neat, neat little novelty. Uh, yeah, so here I'm just getting the, I'm adjusting it, getting the tightness right, um, putting in the final screws. It just takes four screws. See, I'm doing a little bit of flipping, a little bit of testing, but uh, yeah. Alrighty, so as you just saw, this thing went together. It actually worked. I had to do a little bit of drilling there on the holes because it didn't come out the right size for whatever reason. But um, yeah, it's all together. The screws just thread right into the plastic. Um, looking pretty nice. It actually, it gets, oh, it's a little bit sticky when it's closed. Um, but seems to work. So let's go out. I'm going to go out and do a little bit of a flip sesh. So come on, let's go. Okay, so here's me doing my first flip. So it actually works pretty good for twirling because it's so light and it's so easy to just redirect the momentum back and forth. There I did a helix. That was the only, I think that was the only successful helix I was able to do. Uh, aerials kind of suck. I think it's, it's something I could definitely do. It's just, uh, this is my first time flipping it and it's about a hundred times lighter than what I'm used to. And the handles kind of, you can see there, the handles kind of stuck together. Um, overall, it flipped, I think, slightly better than I expected it to. But at the same time, it was pretty bad. Because I expected it to be just about terrible. I was surprised the screws didn't fall out in the first, like, two seconds of flipping. Yeah, there we go. The handles are sticking together because the plastic kind of soft. So when your hand kind of pinches the handles together, uh, what happens is that the blade gets pinched in there and it gets kind of stuck. There, I'm trying to do the uh, the meat grinder. I think I try it again here. Once again, just this this is mostly just me failing, dropping it. You get the gist. It's not great. Definitely not worth buying a 3D printer just to print off one of these. Uh, you're better off getting a two dollar trainer that's gonna break in a day. At least, well, it's working. It'll flip all right. So, yeah. That's about it. I think this, this video goes on for a bit, but it's just me dropping it, so I'm gonna cut it off here. Alrighty, so as you can see, this is the knife. I actually took it apart because I had to take the screws out. This is the original one that I just was showing off. It's quite short. Here, I'm gonna uh, break out my Alpha Beast. You can see, yeah, it's significantly way too short. The handles, you only have that much to play with, right? And I guess it doesn't look like that much here, but it's a pretty big difference. So here is the Big Flips Custom. See, it's got some tape on it, whatever. The Big Flips, so it's supposed to say uh, Big Flips on it, but uh, I actually printed it out on the insides of the handles, so it's backwards. 
And this was like a three hour print because it's bigger. So uh, I'm not gonna go back. I'm not gonna do it again. This is just gonna, I'm not gonna be like flipping this hardcore, but I am gonna do a little bit of a flipping demonstration. So this one, it's just about the same size as the Alpha Beast. So this one actually flips quite a bit better. It still has the same issue where if you pinch the handles, right, the blade gets stuck in there. Uh, for this one, it took the same screws, and the screws actually fit this time when I scaled it up. So I scaled it up 25% uh, in the X dimension and 25% in the Y dimension. So if you want to do this yourself, uh, that's all you got to do. The Z stayed the same, so it's still the same uh, thickness of the handles. Uh, yeah, so this one flips a little bit better. The screws, I actually had to put some nuts on it because it doesn't thread into the plastic anymore. So these are going to fall out. So I'm just going to go right now and flip it until the screws fall out. And that'll be it. Alrighty, got my knife here. You can see I added some little bit of elastic bands there because the uh, the screws, literally I just tried to do this and the screws just fell out instantly. So the elastic bands are there to keep them in. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna try do a behind the eight ball. Doesn't really work too well. Uh, twirling, I like the last knife, the shorter one. This is the longer one for reference. Uh, twirling works good. Just did a helix there. Around the world. Yeah, I think that was my fault. Not necessarily the knife's fault. But, uh, yeah, so this one, it flips okay. I would give it my Beginner's Star Award. Uh, yeah, this, if the screws weren't falling out, I could probably fix it with some super glue, honestly, but, um, uh, yeah, this is probably just going to sit in my uh, golden trophy case, probably. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be flipping this thing hard, so I'm just not even going to bother. But it flips okay. It's on the level of, yeah, like a, like a $15 knife, basically. I'm trying to do all kinds of stuff. It's just a lot lighter than I'm used to, I guess. But overall, not necessarily the worst. If you have a 3D printer... Definitely try to print this off. Definitely make it bigger. Don't print off the smaller one. The smaller one sucks. But, uh, yeah. You can see there the beautiful Big Flips logo. Uh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I'm not gonna... That's gonna be... You have to make your own logo, but, uh, yeah. So, just doing, doing a little bit more uh, twirling. Pretty cool. Yeah, definitely an interesting experiment. Uh, definitely worth doing if you have a 3D printer. Once again, if you're going to buy a 3D printer to do this, that's not a good idea. Uh, just buy a trainer or something. All right, so that's it. I hope you guys liked that guys one. Uh, I thought that was just kind of a neat thing. There's uh, lots more tutorials coming uh, next week. There's going to be a cool one. And forever more, there's going to be cool ones. So check in next Friday. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it. Peace.